Getting up nice and close near a tree, you get to see the different shapes and textures that a bark has. And it's one of the best things you can do when gardening is to try to get under the canopy of a tree and see the detail and feel the detail. Some of the trees are absolutely beautiful. Camphor laurels with this particular one has an interesting trunk and also a lot of alcorns and stakehorns like to grow on it. And the leaves have that very distinctive smell, the fragrance. And timber is used for it, but it is a weed species. It is a very tall tree species. But does it have a purpose in our environment? It was used in the early days as a street tree. You can see the plantings of the camphor laurels throughout parts of Brisbane and in other towns and other cities. And it does have the benefit of being incredibly resilient and tough and being able to grow in a wide range of conditions and situations. But the reality is it is a weed and it does take over a lot of the bushland. So we do not encourage anyone to actually physically plant it. And if you do have one, try to do what you can to remove it from your property. But it does have a function. Some of our native butterfly species are using this plant as the host plant for their caterpillars, which means it is helping certain species to survive and thrive. So if you are planning to remove this tree from your property, please plant a substitute, a native plant that will be conducive to our Australian native butterfly so they can lay their caterpillars on the plant that you choose. Now, I think from memory, it is the blue triangle butterfly. That's one of the species that uses the camphor laurel as a host plant. So do a little bit of research and find out an appropriate plant species that you can grow at home to encourage and to perpetuate the population of the butterflies in your area. But if you do have a camphor laurel, please consider removing it yourself or if it's on council land, you can ask the local council to do it. They probably won't, but please be proactive and ask the local council to be more proactive themselves. And that's your garden tip for today from Paul Plant Horticulture. If you have liked the tip, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.